And the other, the other three champions on this, they're on the older side, you know. So, you know, the young breed is, is coming up, and, and uh, that's what that's what I believe they're doing. I, I'm not saying I'm right. It's just my opinion, you know. But but I like the direction they're going with Usman, and uh, he's going to deliver. Because Brett Premis, you know, he's a guy that was a former champion, you know, and, and he feels that he deserves to be there, and he wants to get that title back. So this guy's hungry, and this guy... Uh, he, he was saying... He put out on a, an interview, I'm going to do an upset. We're like, okay, well, we're aware of what you're trying to do. <laughs> we're well, aware. I mean, you know, you just don't, don't, don't take him lightly. Take him very serious, you know, because he's a serious, he's a serious dude. You know, he says, I'm going to do upset. Hey, don't say, oh yeah, right. No, no, no. <laughs> Pay attention because he's a serious dude and, and he's going to come in with that attitude. So we, myself and, and well, Kane Velasquez is actually going to join me in the corner. Uh, Ilza Mavadov. I was going to bring Mata, that. I was going to bring that up. Yeah, Kane is working the corner with me. Uh, Usman asked if if Kane can work the corner, and I asked Kane, and Kane said, "Yeah." So Kane's going to be working the corner with me. So that that'd be nice, you know. Um, but Usman's ready to go. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say that you know, but he's going to perform. He's going to he's going to have a great performance. He's looking fantastic, and uh, you know, he's a superstar on the rise. People, people know he's a champion, but pretty soon a lot of people are going to know what I've always said. Superstar. Well, you saw him last camp, and you're seeing he was already the camp. He was um, about to become the champ, and then he now he became the champ. Um, so well, now, he, he was the champ no, two fights ago. Two fights ago. Two fights ago. My bad. My two bad. Fights ago. So how much more improvement have you seen? Because I know the guy's always, always, like, he's so young. So it's like he's just jumping in his skill sets, and you're watching him grow in MMA. It grows progressively. Like, what would you say between your last camp and now? Like, have well, you like, oh, made, he's oh wow. He has made some improvements in all the areas. The smartness, when to take your body, take a break, you know, how to, when to push, you know, uh, you know how, to, how to listen to corners, you know. He he's done extremely well, and, and he's much better than he was when he won the title, and he has to be, you know, because once you set the bar, everybody knows where the bar is at. Well, you got to exceed that bar because if you don't, people know what they're what they're training for. So you have to be better every time. So you know, Usman as was last fight was fantastic against Benson Henderson. Well, this fight he's much better now, and because he needs to be, because you know, Brett Premis knows what the bar was against Benson Henderson. And he himself, he beat a super, super tough competitor and, and the French guy, you know, who who most of us thought was going to be the guy that we'd be fighting, you know, instead of instead of Brett. So there you go. You know, he's upset one guy already. And and if we don't pay attention, he could get us too. But, you know, we paid attention. We know what we're up against. And uh, Usman's ready for him. You know, we're, we're not taking him lightly by any means. And he's a very serious, very serious guy. I, you know, that guy that you're talking about, Barnui, he fought on this card and he lost again, by the way. And so and so it looks like he's lost a step. I remember the fight that he had years ago with Islam when Islam was a young, just a young pup, like early he 20s. He gave Islam all he can handle. Yeah, when Islam was, was new, 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 new. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I see how much Islam has grown since then. And I was watching this guy and it's like people got his his moves that were scary to people back then and figured out. Right. So he lost. So that's two for him now. Now he's down two. Now he's that much less of a threat as to, I guess, what he used to be at one time. But um, it makes sense. I mean, Brett broke him, and then the next guy that beat him broke him. So there we are. That was uh, a thing I was thinking well, about. Like, like I tell you, when, when you get beat, everybody knows where the bar is at. So now it's, that's why it's harder to come back after defeats, you know, because people figure you out. And they know where to, where to come at you, you know. And that's a rough thing to come from a defeat to to bring you know a win on the next fight that's why you see most people especially when, as they're older when they start losing they lose they lose they lose they lose they, it's hard for them to come back because they're not they're not hungry enough you know and they're not young enough to get that strength back where they were before you know so it's a tough thing that's why it's hard for guys that are in a losing streak to, to build back up it's really hard really really hard so you know you see it all the time michelle watterson we talked about tony ferguson Right. Countless, countless of people. Now they're not the only ones. There's many more, many more like them. You know, um, who else that fought on this card was like on a downward spiral? Quite a few. I mean, if you look down to all the UFC roster and all these other fights, you'll see a lot of the guys fighting for your you fighting for your job, fighting for your job type fights. Like if you don't, yeah, win, but these guys have you know, yeah, they're fighting for the jobs, but they haven't, they haven't won. They haven't won in three, four, five fights. Yeah. And you know, 
and 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 it's just and it doesn't get better. Normally, they they never they never uh, make it, and then they get cut at one point. That's oh, normally what I see. I'm not saying that they all get cut because some do come out of it, but when they're on that type of downward spiral, you know, they usually don't come out of it. It was uh, it was interesting, you know the uh, the Johnny Eblins. Um the end of the fight he was like raw it was like we wanted to attack and almost start a fight with leon edwards at the end of the fight but he apologized he was just so pumped on adrenaline uh, if you see that if you look at that you'll see that in the uh, replay there i was just trying to see who else was on that card but i can't pull the card up right now um let's see you you've got um you have uh your guys going to be fighting over in in the middle east are you going to be there for that fight for amaru yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I'll be there for Amaru. Uh, I don't know if I'll work this corner, but I will be at that event. Yes, uh, you know, uh, Team Habib is definitely going to be in his corner, but I don't know if I will be. I might, I might, I might not be. It's hard to say, but I definitely will be there. 